the human body comprises trillions of cells that we can only see under a microscope. They are really small in size, yet they are complex. Here is a cell, the basic unit of all living tissue. In most human cells, there is a structure called the nucleus. Inside the nucleus, we can see the chromosomes. They have two sets of 23 chromosomes for a total of 46 chromosomes. Chromosomes are not visible in the cell's nucleus, not even under a microscope, when the cell is not dividing. Each chromosome contains a long strand of DNA, tightly packaged around proteins called histones. Within the DNA are sections called genes. These genes contain the instructions for making proteins. When a gene is switched on, an enzyme called RNA polymerase attaches to the start of the gene. It moves along the DNA, making a strand of messenger RNA out of free bases in the nucleus. The DNA code determines the order in which the free bases are added to the messenger RNA. This process is called transcription. Before the messenger RNA can be used as a template for the production of proteins, it needs to be processed. This involves removing and adding sections of RNA. The messenger RNA then moves out of the nucleus into the cytoplasm. Protein factories in the cytoplasm, called ribosomes, bind to the messenger RNA. The ribosome reads the code in the messenger RNA to produce a chain made up of amino acids. There are 20 different types of amino acid. Transfer RNA molecules carry the amino acids to the ribosome. The messenger RNA is read three bases at a time. As each triplet is read, a transfer RNA delivers the corresponding amino acid. This is added to a growing chain of amino acids. Once the last amino acid has been added, the chain folds into a complex 3D shape to form the protein. Proteins play countless roles throughout the biological world. Some transport nutrients throughout the body. Some help chemical reactions to happen at faster rates. Others build the structures that make up living things. Despite this wide range of functions, all proteins are made out of the same 21 building blocks, called amino acids. There are nine essential amino acids in the cell. Valine, leucine, isoleucine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, histidine, and lysine. Some amino acids appear more frequent than the others. Here is a graph representation of the percentage of each amino acid. Amino acids are made of carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, and hydrogen atoms, and some contain sulfur atoms. Selenocysteine is the only standard amino acid that contains a selenium atom. These atoms form an amino group, a carboxyl group, and a side chain, all attached to a central carbon atom. The side chain determines an amino acid's properties and is the only part that varies from amino acid to amino acid. Hydrophobic amino acids have carbon-rich side chains, which don't interact well with water. Hydrophilic, or polar, amino acids interact well with water.
charged amino acids interact with oppositely charged amino acids or with other molecules. The primary structure of a protein is a linear sequence of amino acids as included by DNA. The amino acids in a protein are joined by Bepti bonds, which group the one group of one amino acids to the one carboxyl group of the other. A water molecule is released each time a Bepti bond is formed. Combination of amino acids is formed as a result of these bonds, combining them together, creating chain like structure which consist of different chemicals causing the chain to form bonds. This linked series of carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen atoms is the protein backbone. An alpha helix is a right-handed coil stabilized by hydrogen bonds between the amine and carboxyl groups of nearby amino acids. Beta sheets are formed when hydrogen bonds stabilize two or more adjacent strands of amino acids.